Hi, this video tutorial I will cover how to configure connection pooling in Tomcat and communicate to the MySQL database. By default, Tomcat uses DPCP connection pool. For DPCP connection pool, we need Commons DPCP library and Commons pool library. And these libraries are located in a single jar inside the Tomcat leaf folder. The name of the jar is Tomcat DPCP jar. You can see here, during server startup, we can configure DPCP data source and register in the naming service. Example of naming service is uh, JNDA and here you can see, key is uh, JDBC slash ValDB and the corresponding value is uh, DPCP data source. From web application, using JNDA lookup, we can get the DPCP data source object in the web application. And once we get the data source object, from data source object, we can get the connection object and communicate to the database. Now we will see how to do that. Here you can see the city table, which is there in the world database. And I have written this query, select star from city, limit is 10. I am executing this query. And here you can see the output. And now we will see, using Surlet, how to get this uh, city information and display in the web browser. I am opening a conf folder of uh, Tomcat and I am opening uh, contacts.xml and in this file we have to configure uh, Tomcat connection pooling and here I have configured name is uh, jdbc slash valdb auth container Type is uh, javax.sql.datasource. Max active is 100. Max active is nothing but uh, maximum number of database connection in the pool. And max ideal is uh, 30. Max ideal is nothing but uh, maximum number of ideal database connection to retain in the pool. Max wait is uh, 10,000. Max wait is nothing but uh, maximum time to wait for a database connection to become available and uh, username of mysql database is root password of mysql database is root driver class name is com.mysql.jdbc.driver and uh, url of uh, mysql database in this web application we want to connect to mysql database so we have to place uh, mysql connector jar inside the tomcat leaf folder to explain uh, tomcat connection pooling i have created this project in this project in web.xml, I have configured a city info servlet. This city info servlet will be executed if the URL pattern is uh, city info. And I have configured a resource ref. Resource ref name is uh, jdbc slash worlddb, which we have configured in uh, context.xml. And the resource type is uh, javax.sql.datasource. and uh, resource auth is uh, container now i will uh, deploy this uh, web application in tomcat server i am starting the server Server has been started. This is the URL to access the web application. And it is displaying the welcome page. And this index.html is a welcome page. It has uh, one link called show city information. And URL pattern is uh, city info. I am clicking on this link. The request goes to the server and we got the city information from MySQL database. And the request goes to the server and the URL pattern is uh, city info. The server will forward the request to servlet container. Servlet container will check whether this uh, URL pattern is there in the web.xml or not. In uh, web.xml, this URL pattern is there. Corresponding uh, servlet is city info servlet. So the servlet container will execute the city info servlet. 
first servlet container will call init method of uh, city info servlet to initialize this servlet and uh, in init method uh, what we are doing is uh, we are getting data source uh, using jnda lookup and uh, that data source object we are assigning to this variable then servlet container will call uh, do get method to process the request uh, in do get method what we are doing is we are calling uh, show city information method and passing a print writer object and in uh, show city information method we are getting a connection object from the data source object and once we get the connection object we are calling a prepare statement method passing the SQL SQL is uh, select star from city limit question mark and we are setting the parameter as uh, 10 so we can get uh, first 10 records and we are executing a uh, prepare statement this method will return a result set once we get the result set object we are iterating the result set object and getting each record from the result set and displaying the output here you can see the output then we are closing a result set object prepared statement and uh, connection and this is about how to configure connection pool in Tomcat and thanks for watching.